This is uh, simply the first three paragraphs of Breathless. Breathless, and uh, Jean-Paul Paul Del Mondo can haunt me if he sees fit. <laughs> to some people, it wasn't surprising, the advent of this pandemic, merely shocking in the way a grim inevitability can shock. Those unsurprised people were infectious disease scientists. They had for decades seen such an event coming, like a small, dark dot on the horizon of western Nebraska, rumbling toward us at indeterminable speed and with indeterminable force, like a runaway chicken truck or an 18-wheeler loaded with rolled steel. The agent of the next catastrophe, they knew, would almost certainly be a virus. Not a bacterium, as with bubonic plague, not some brain-eating fungus, not an elaborate protozoan of the sort that caused malaria. No, a virus. And more specifically, it would be a novel virus, meaning not new to the world, but newly recognized as infecting humans. But if new to humans, where would a novel virus emanate? Good question. Everything comes from somewhere, and new viruses in humans come from wild animals, sometimes by way of a domestic animal as intermediary. This sort of transfer from non-human host to human is known as spillover. Such viruses, including Marburg and rabies and Lassa and monkeypox, cause afflictions that are termed zoonoses or zoonotic diseases. Most human infectious diseases are zoonotic, caused by animal origin pathogens that reach us repeatedly, Nipah virus spilling over from fruit bats in Bangladesh, or have reached us in the past, HIV, group M, the pandemic AIDS subtype, spilling over from a chimpanzee once. Some are old to us, the plague bacterium, yellow fever virus, and hatefully familiar. Some are as startlingly new and ferocious as Ebola virus, like a predatory alien in a movie. A novel virus can be devastating if we have no vaccines to deflect it, no drugs to fight it, no history of past exposures to anything similar that might give us acquired immunity. A novel virus, if luck is good for the virus and bad for us, can go through the human population like a high-caliber bullet through marbled sirloin. <laughs> 